Hello, my name is Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to convert a high quality iPhone HEIC image into a regular quality JPG file. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. And hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to go ahead and learn how easy it is to change the image format of your photos on the iPhone from HEIC file into a regular old JPEG. It's really simple. And the way I'm going to show you is going to make life so much easier. With that said, if you're new here, do me a favor, go ahead and smack that subscribe. Love to have you. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first part is going to show you how to go ahead and change it just while it's on the phone. What happens is when you have a picture and you upload it to Google Drive or some other area, it will put the file extension HEIC on a photo which is not known to a lot of things. And because of that, your computer won't even know what it is without changing it. But there's a way to do it on the iPhone. It's a little trick that I've learned and I do it all the time because I hate going through and trying to find a program that go ahead and transform it for me because, you know, those programs always look a little dodgy to me <laughs> and you never know what else they're doing. So why not just use the iPhone? Because we can. And this is how we do it. On the iPhone, we're gonna go into our photos and find a photo. I found a photo and I have it selected. So now what I wanna do is transform this into a JPEG. So what you do is you take a screenshot. So I'm gonna hit my power button and my volume up button at the same time, because that's how I take a screenshot on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You'll hear it click. And then we're going to click on that photo and now we're gonna just change a little bit here. We're just gonna cut the top off. Just so the black line is not there. We're gonna do the same to the bottom. So now it looks just like the regular photo. We're gonna go ahead, done. We're gonna save the photos. And now we have it. So now go all the way to the bottom of your photos and you'll find it. This one's gonna look exactly the same, but it's not. So now we're gonna go ahead and upload it. I'm just gonna upload it to my Google Drive just to show you. When we hit Google Drive, there it is, image.jpg. So what we did was we avoided the whole thing just by taking a screenshot of an already taken picture. It doesn't lose quality from what I've been able to tell. Sometimes a file size might be a little bit bigger, but you're dealing with two megs instead of one. Not really that big of a deal. And this saves a lot of time, so you don't have to worry about doing it on the computer itself. If you are looking to do it on the computer, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. If you are going to go ahead and use a program, this is the program that I have been using for a while before I found out this neat little trick. It's iMazing HEIC Converter. What you do is you take the image and you just drop it inside. And it's going to go ahead and take it and you put the quality you want it. And then you can go ahead and switch which format you want, JPEG or PNG, and then simply hit convert. Choose where you're going to put it. We're going to put it in the same folder and it's gonna go ahead and successfully do it. And now we have the JPEG. We open it up, there we go. We got our little man, my son, and he is all ready to chop some wood. <laughs> That's how you do it, I hope this helped. I'll put the link for iMazing down below if you wanna do it on the computer to make sure you have the correct one, because I don't want you to have the wrong one and go to a dodgy site. So that worked for you. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm back and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for the view.